From the great state of Texas, this is the latest episode of the ETX Rock Show. Nestled in the piney woods of East Texas, the ETX Rock Show delivers the stories and songs of talented artists of all genres, all styles, from the unheralded and unheard to the legends and beyond. We bring a passion for music and a drive to go behind the curtain with our guests. We focus on all artists, from LA to New York, Nashville down to Texas, and everywhere in between. ETX is our location, not a limitation. Now as always, it's viewers and listeners like you out there that are our biggest support for the show. If you want to contribute to the show, please do so by donating to www.paypal.me forward slash ETX rocks and thank you for tuning in. Wherever you're tuned in, please hit the like, follow, and or subscribe buttons. And now for another great episode of ETX Rocks. Hey guys, Boston Chris here and this is episode 11 of Songbirds and Troubadours where we feature the songwriter, uh, one of the most unheralded arms of the music business in my opinion. And I mean, we're really stoked about who we have for y'all this week on the show. Both of these guys are from the Tyler, Texas area, and they're actually really good friends as well. Um, and I think I reached out to Ian in, in setting this up, and uh, Ian was like, man, yeah, I'll do it, but I want to bring my own partner. And I was like, man, I don't know about this. <laughs> so, yeah, and when he mentioned Douglas, uh, I actually met Douglas last year at, at Lindale when we were running sound out there, if you remember that. Yeah, the, the little The grand opening out mm -hmm. there. Uh, so I've, I've known about both of these guys for a while. It's really, really, really fun to have these guys on the show. Both are incredible songwriters and multi-styles of music, and I think you guys will really enjoy their style today. Uh, but I'm going to introduce each of them individually. Ian, uh, I know you've had some um, experience out in Austin, but now you're in Tyler. So tell us a little bit about your musical journey so far. Um, it's, been, it's been crazy this past year. I quit drinking and uh, started recording an album, and uh, it's been pretty wild. Just been in kind of around the East Texas area. We've been up in Fort Worth and in Dallas a little bit, but just waiting to release this album and you know kind of travel a little bit. Cool. So we have new music coming from you soon. Oh yeah. Very nice. Very nice. And Douglas, same question, man. How's your musical journey been going for you? Uh, it's going well. Uh, it is a little bit longer than Ian's. I'm a little bit older. Um, but that's about the only reason I think is just because I've got a few years on you. Uh, he got an earlier start than I did, okay. unfortunately. Um, You're being modest. But uh, I uh, grew up in North Texas outside of Wichita Falls um, and grew up as a band guy. Um, played uh, lead trumpet all through school and wow. went to school for that uh, okay. for a couple of years before I realized that it just isn't what I wanted. Do, mm -hmm. uh, as much as I enjoy, I definitely can't uh, picture it from you. Wind <laughs> um, and moved to Austin when I was 22, um, thinking in the back of my mind, well, maybe I could do this music thing. Uh, didn't start actually playing until a friend from back home came down and asked where I was playing, and I didn't have an answer, so she kind of twisted my arm into a gig. Cool. Um, well, thank God for her. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and uh, it kind of went from there. Um, I started doing solo stuff in the Austin area. Um, played um, anywhere from coffee shops to Antones down there. Um, started singing with a southern rock band called Dirty Bird. Uh, and um, then started a, band. yeah, they were a great band, man. Um, if you're if you're talking about songwriters, the lead guy from that band is actually doing still doing stuff on his own. His name's Clayton Coleman. He's phenomenal. Okay. Um, but um, that uh, segued into somehow getting more in, into kind of the folk scene, um, and through that, I started touring with a band called Sweetness. Uh, it was two gals from Toronto, uh, another gal from Austin, and myself, and wow. we, we toured anywhere from Austin to. Canada to Europe a couple of times, wow. um, and um, as that was kind of coming to a close, Clayton, who I mentioned previously, um, was trying to kind of get some stuff going, uh, and he and uh, myself and another fellow named Chad Pope formed a trio called Bugaboo, uh, which is actually a band that I toured through Tyler with a few times. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, yeah. Um, so um, that's kind of, that was my introduction to Tyler. I moved here. <coughs> Excuse me, I moved here a couple of years ago, uh, and um, I have a four-year-old son, uh, and uh, that kind of took me off the road. I was gone too much, just didn't feel good about that, and um, I moved to Tyler, uh, and um, 
was trying to figure out how to still be involved in music without being gone so much. Ended up running the music at Jules for a little while. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, when that door closed, um, another door opened. I started uh, running the music for Stanley's and Tyler um, a few months ago. Uh, and I primarily do sound engineering a lot these days, but I always look for a good opportunity yeah. to, to get out and play. And a heck of an artist in his own right. Um, and a guy that really supports the local scene in Tyler big Absolutely. time. I mean, uh, there's so many people who come through here that mention your name as, as a huge supporter of, oh, of live local music. And man, it's great to, to sit here and listen to both of y'all today. I, I don't think I've seen either one of y'all play live, so this is going to be really, really fun for us. If you're watching the show for the first time, we want to thank you guys for tuning in. The way this is going to work is both of these amazing songwriters are going to feature five original songs each throughout the program. We will also have an intermission in the middle of the show where both of these guys will ask each other a couple of questions. That's always a lot of fun. And I'm expecting some wackiness from this because these guys know each other so well. Sometimes we have songwriters here that have met for the first time that day. That This is not one of those times. Uh, so that's called Question Swap, and that'll be in the middle of the show. If you guys are a venue or a fan out there that wants to know more about these guys, you can find all of that information at the end of the show. We'll have all their promo material, their social media, web pages, and how you can reach out to them and book them for live shows as well. That'll be at the end of the show. Uh, but without any further ado, guys, we're going to get right into the live, unplugged original music on Songbirds and Troubadours, episode number 11. Y'all don't go anywhere. Uh, this first song is uh, it's called Labels. Uh, and uh, the uh, idea came to me while I was on a long drive in the car. I didn't have the radio on. I was just thinking about um, a relationship that had just ended. <laughs> and uh, and uh, it just kind of came to me. Warning label says 
broken, damaged. I wear it to remind me that I feel so very hard in love. Tiny little pieces I carry around Just rattle and remind me With every single sound of you Reminds me of you Reminds me of you Reminds me of you Nice. I was gonna play, but I didn't want to mess up. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> what do you got? Um, the song is called Believe Me. Uh, yeah, uh, I wrote it. It's one of the more recent ones that I've written. It's about a girl. <laughs>
I never knows that line, I'll never go back to booze. Yeah, it's a sneaky one. I don't yeah. think you, people can understand. I never noticed that. Well, you know, women make you want to drink. I do. I'll play a song about that. <laughs> this is that one. I don't know which one. To be just, you just always say that to me. Oh, is this that one? <laughs> Doug and I play together. Yeah. Yeah, that's, I guess that's kind of a side note to I Never Noticed That Lyric is because I've heard that song a lot, yeah. but for whatever reason that one just had kind of, had kind of escaped me. Uh, this is uh, another song about that same gal uh, that the last one was about. Um, she got you good. She did. There are uh, several about her. Uh, and uh, I wrote this song the night that uh, we split up, uh, and uh, it was, I usually, when, when things like that happen, I go back and I kind of reevaluate, and this one hasn't really changed. It just came out the way it was supposed to, which is nice. It, that doesn't happen a lot, so. Um, this one's called Treasure. Reminding me I lost all the treasure I found So I run as fast as I can But it's never far enough away from where I am I lost 
raw. That one was really raw when it came out. <laughs> yeah. Did you play that like at places like right after y'all broke it up? Well, um, <laughs> she and didn't. Did she see it? She wasn't in Austin, so. I was with Toronto. Yeah. Yeah. So she was another country away, so she didn't have to hear. <laughs> she didn't have to hear those songs. Uh, that one, uh, actually, both of those songs, I'm pretty sure, yeah, both those songs are uh, on, uh, I recorded those with Bugaboo, um, and there's a full band version of those floating around, you just have to look up Bugaboo, B-U-G-G-A-B-O-O, -O. Um, that was on our full length called Hysteria, so, if anybody's interested in that. <laughs> Uh, this is Solemn Hearts. Um, let's see. Uh, it's just about like the like how you can get so caught up in situations that don't really matter. And you just kind of need to take the time to like chill out, focus on the good stuff. <laughs> Something they can't see will get dirt under our nails and salt in our hair from the sea. Oh, baby, won't you be strong? Don't you worry about a thing. This ain't. This is just a thing Solemn hearts are singing Oh, we are together now Oh, baby, let your head down Because we are together The ground running, no, we won't look back. We'll be faster than that old train coming off its tracks. Oh, baby, won't you be strong? Don't you worry. Saint of permanent home. This is just a fake. Solemn hearts are singing. Oh, we are together now. Oh, baby, let's go. songs it's just not my thing it's harder for me to find the words for them um, so 
not as visceral, if you will. Um, but I have written a couple. Um, this is one of them. Um, this is called uh, Be Here Now. Ooh. Talk to me, but you sound so far away. When all I want is for you to stay in my arms tonight. Try to tell myself I'm falling way too fast That I can never make it last But you just feel so right And I don't know how what you did to me Cause all I think of now Is how much I want you close to me
All right, guys, so you've been tuned in to Songbirds and Troubadours number 11. You've been watching live, uh, unplugged original music from two of Tyler's best songwriters, uh, Douglas J. Boyd and Ian Power. Um, both of them are very well-traveled as well. Both have spent time in Austin. And this is the segment that a lot of people have been talking about. This is Question Swap, which is exactly like a song swap without the music. Guys, without any further ado, these guys are going to ask each other a couple of questions each. <laughs> And I'm really looking forward to this. I have no clue what's going to happen here. So y'all stay tuned, and it's Question Swap right after this. <laughs> hey, y'all. I'm Darby Sean. Thank you so much for tuning in to the ETX Rock Show. Are we, are we going to be nice? That's yeah, not a question. I'll, yeah. Okay. Okay. I'll ten attack. Ish. Nice ish. Um, let's see. Douglas. Yes, sir. Man, there's so many questions. <laughs> um... What can Tyler musicians do better to make the Tyler music scene better? Stop playing in Tyler so much. Straight up. Elaborate. Oversaturation. Ooh. Um, oversaturation affects heavily affects draw, which affects how much money the venue is making, uh, which affects how much the band is making if you're getting paid from the venue. Um, the there are, this is there oh man I could go way into this one <laughs> um, we're gonna leave it we're gonna leave it at that um, but there's lots of stuff um, I uh, I really enjoy the Tyler music scene and I would really like for it to grow I'm talking to you uh, uh, out there so um, get out of town go play elsewhere um, you'll get more experience you'll have a tighter show when you come back you'll have more buzz and you won't oversaturate your hometown market so. That's my, that's my two cents on that. Uh, speaking of, uh, Ian, when's your, uh, when's your next tour? Tour? <laughs> Whenever you get some free time, I guess. <laughs> we, gotta, we gotta release this album first. Fair which enough. Which is like okay. pretty close. Okay, so, uh, so we'll just segue that into, this is still the first question. This, uh, this only counts because I'm the answer to that one. Oh, um, sick. When's your, when's your record coming out? Uh, who knows? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, it should be like a month, two months probably. It's a mixing and mastering. There's cool. there's some people coming in doing some some stuff. Cool. Recording with John Hetherington. He's great. Y'all search him out. He's in a bunch of different bands, including mine. <laughs> and he's really good at what he does. Indeed. Cool. Now for uh, question number two, Douglas. Hit me. All right. He didn't have it yet. <laughs> I do have it, but I gotta be tame over no, here. I gotta. You don't. You don't. Just no, do it. Just I, do I it. Just do it. Dig in. Be nice. Be nice. Ish. Emphasize on the ish. I ain't scared. What is <laughs> the wildest thing you did while you were touring with who? Let's well, see. Just to say, just to touring. I know exactly okay, there what we you're go. talking about. I know exactly what you're talking about. Uh, um, I was driving up to Evansville. I was on tour with a fellow named Ben Balmer, who is a phenomenal songwriter from Austin. That's good. Um, and um, we had played a show actually in the Tyler area the night previous um, and needed to be in Evansville, Indiana the next night. So as soon as we were finished in Tyler, we, uh, we hopped in the car, hopped in the van, and hightailed it up there. Um, we were in a minivan. We were in my minivan. It was a 93 Toyota Previa minivan. Um, and uh, got there at about 11 o'clock in the morning. On the way there, we were calling the fella who we were staying with, which is the same house that we went streaking at, by the way. Um, called him to let him know that we were close. And he was like, okay, cool, man. Well, I'll see you in a few minutes. We get there. Uh, and um, he worked at a, at a seafood joint and um, <laughs> he had like five gallons of gumbo that they were about to throw out. And he's like, "Oh no, man! Like it's—I know it's still good for a few days." And it was—it—it it was fine. The gumbo was fine. And he was like, "And now I also—I also got like five gallons of Hurricane because they made it and then they put it in these containers that had onions in them, so it's got kind of an onion flavor to it." <laughs> <laughs> so we ended up, and we had just gotten off the road. I mean, literally had walked in, and he was like, hey, you want to have a hurricane? An <laughs> onion hurricane. An onion hurricane, and we were just, we didn't want to, we didn't want to be unkind, so we were like, yeah, we'll have some gumbo in a hurricane. 
<laughs> Ended up having a little nap. Went and played a vineyard. We had two, uh, no, we had one show that night. Went and played a vineyard. Um, and the, before we got there, the guy was like, oh, yeah, cool. You know, uh, and part of your pay is a couple of bottles of wine. And after the show, he was like, you guys can have a bottle of wine. Because he also, he's also giving us wine when we were there. Ended up going out and singing karaoke that night. Um, and Josh, the bass player, big, big, burly, sweetest guy you'll ever meet. Ben and I decided to tell him that he had a secret admirer at the bar that we were singing karaoke at. And we were tag team and buying shots from the bartender. And the bartender kept telling him, hey, this is from your secret admirer. So he was, he was asking us, do you know who this is? Do you know who it is? No, no idea who it is. <laughs> and he's just having more and more shots. And at one point in time, he goes to the bathroom and Ben walks in after him and it's the big, you know, stall, the urinals that go all the way to the floor. And I guess Josh is just standing there, projectile vomiting into, <laughs> into one of these urinals. And I didn't know. So I come back, he comes back out and I had already bought him another shot. Bartender slides it down to him and, and Josh is just, well, okay. <laughs> And on the way, on the walk home from the karaoke bar, there was a cherry picker on the street. This is this is just this is what happens in Evansville, inevitably. <laughs> like every time, something like this. There's a cherry picker on the side of the street. I don't know if y'all don't know what that is. It's one of the big. Uh, it's uh, got a basket on it um, for guys to work on. You know, um, uh, for like electricians to work on high stuff, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, and uh, as we were walking by, I hit the ignition just on a whim, and it turned on. It fucking turned on. So I was playing around with it. It's like 4 o'clock in the morning. I put this, this cherry picker up in the air, bring it back down, and then turn it off. And then Ben jumps in the basket and is like, do it again! <laughs> so I put him about 30 feet up in the air, and Josh is across the street filming us. Of course. And we hear police sirens in the distance. And on the video, you can see me sprint off and, and Ben be like, wait, no! And I run back and get him down. And we all run off. And the next day, Josh is like, man, I told you guys that was a bad idea. Told you you shouldn't have done it. And we watch the video and you can hear Josh saying, put him higher! Do it again! <laughs> Evansville, Indiana, for whatever reason, just brings out the crazy. It's a phenomenal town. Go see Amy at Lamasco Bar and Grill. Tell her you want to get Lamasco, and you'll be on the right path. Just that—that that is, uh, yeah, Lamasco. That's a thing. That's a thing. That's a real thing. Lamasco Bar and Grill in Evansville, Indiana. Oh Lord. Ben and Josh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Sam, Chloe, Allie, Cole, Aaron, everybody else that was involved in any of that stuff. I'm sorry. Sorry. Maybe you won't see this. Now you really just threw them all under the bus. <laughs> <laughs> they were you anonymous. put them all up in the cherry picker. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> they were anonymous before. No, no. No, there is no anonymity in 2018, my friend. Uh, how do you get your hair so silky smooth? Coconut oil. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's an easy one. Mm-hmm. Ask a better one. Yeah. That's an inside deal. <laughs> Let's see. You wanna? No, no, no. Do you you wanna tell me what I should ask you? No. No. Mm. What percentage of the songs of yours are in six eight? Let me do the math. <laughs> this is something I give Ian flat for. Yeah, all your songs are in 4-4, four, four, so what's four, the difference? 4-4 four, four is a tan- standard time signature. Okay, well 6-8 is standard in my brain. <laughs> uh, like 85%, let's say. 85%. The, the four of the five tonight that you played were in 6-8. Okay, so 80%. Well, 80% today. How many songs did you play in 4-4? Four, four? Five. So 100% of your songs are at the same time signature. <coughs> no. 
Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, guys, so that was Question Swap with Ian and Douglas. Um, I told you, it, you just never know what's going to happen. Hashtag get lamascoed. Um, Amy, I don't, I've never met you, but you seem really, really cool. And apparently some really bad stuff happens in Evansville for Douglas J. Boyd. Good, bad. It's, yeah. it's good, bad. Well, I mean, you got onion-flavored hurricanes and streaking down the road during tornadoes. Well, yeah, that happened. <sighs> Oh. On different occasions. I can't believe I told That's not stories. even one circumstance, man. That's two stories. different occasions. Oh, Lord. So did anything normal ever happen to you in Evansville? Oh, yeah, we had a great time there. <laughs> it time. sounds like it. Always had a great time, and there were some more tame incidents that, you know, go into... Just start worth mentioning. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, they were just, you know, fun times, but those were the ones that you just... <laughs> All right, guys, so without any further ado, we're going to have more 6-8 from Ian and more 4-4 four, four from Douglas. <laughs> right here, live, unplugged original music from Ian Power and Douglas J. Boyd. Y'all don't go anywhere. Hey, y'all, I'm Meredith Crawford, and thanks for tuning in to the ETH yeah, Rock Show. Good. Uh, this song is called He Sees, and it's kind of about, um, well, it is about, it's all kind of about, it's about, like, in relationships, we... Uh, kind of don't really take the time to notice like all the, the great things your partner can do for you uh, and how it can turn kind of toxic. <laughs> several years ago uh, and um, there were a bunch of people talking about old blues like old blues um, the real shit um, and um, murder was a thing that um, 
was sung about regularly, but there was a reason for it. It's because these guys used to travel by themselves a lot, uh, and they didn't want to catch any shit from people in a crowd thinking, oh, well, they just made a bunch of money, I'm going to go steal it from them. So they talked about killing people, thinking, okay, cool, this will scare people off. Uh, and uh, that got me to thinking, and this is another song that just popped out, I mean, 15 minutes, tops. Um, I just, it just was one of those that just, just came, and that just doesn't happen often for me, uh, and I really enjoy it when it does, but this is, a, this is a song called My Baby. Well, my baby, she been good to me, she keep me warm at night. Don't know where I'd be without her, without her, without her, without her. Without her. Oh, my baby, she done gone away. She gone back out in west. Wonder how long I'll stay without her, without her, without her, without her. Oh, my baby, she don't call no more. It's been days and days since she come through that door still without her without her without her without her oh my baby she ain't coming back she been fooling around behind my back Yes, well I heard Oh I heard Oh I heard Oh I heard Oh my baby She can't hide from me But I'm gonna track her down Boy, you best believe I'll find her I'll find her, I'll find her, I'll find her.
yeah. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. Well, my new baby, brother, she good to me. She keep me warm at night. I don't know where I'd be. Not a true story. Not a true story, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't kill anybody. I didn't do it. We believe you, kind of. Uh, this song is called 10,000 Years, and... Oh, man, I was just thinking... I think I was thinking about, uh... Like, just living in the past whenever there wasn't social media and... You know, everybody didn't know everything or assume everything about everyone, and it was just... I knew that about you. <sighs> Sick. <That's> so good. <laughs> just simpler times. Well, 10,000 years ago That's the time and place that I want to know. Say whoa, 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 whoa.
that's the time and place I want to know say <laughs> Ian's a much better guitarist than I am. It's a lie. It's not true. And actually, if you see us play together, I won't even have a guitar. Um, I play percussion, I sing, and I play with Ian. It's good. It's good. Which one do you do? Um, <clears throat> this is a kind of a breakup song, kind of not. Um, I'm so sad. And <laughs> this is catharsis. Songwriting is catharsis for me. Um, all of the shit that I can't say in real life and actually express to people is what I write songs about. <laughs> um, so, um, uh, the song's called The Answer. Um, I. Uh, was coming out of a, a period of depression uh, and uh, starting to realize that, hey, it's going to be okay. Um, <laughs> I, I can do this. I can deal with this. Uh, and uh, I actually just finished this. I, there was one lyric that I could not wrap my brain around and finally um, finished it and was happy with it last fall. Um, this song's called The Answer. I want to lose my mind Spending all my time and doing my best to find the answer, the answer to this.
lot of days Parts of me along the way But I'm still I'm still to be so hard But I don't mind the scars Cause I've learned That I've learned Them all I think I've said that like every song that you played, so you're doing <laughs> something right there, Doug. Well, it's mutual. Aww. Aww. Is this what I think it is? <sighs> yes. <laughs> Why are you messing with the electronics? It's not plugged in, bro. Oh, because there's a tuner in my guitar. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Questions are later, Doug. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, uh, we're, not re we're not in that segment yet. The song is called Oh Mama. And it's like one of the first songs I think I really wrote, but it's probably one of the best. Uh, it sticks for sure. Yeah, this one was just about chasing after a woman. Who would have guessed it? Shocky. Won't you please come home to me? Leave those wildflowers and honeybees. As you walked on by, you know I saw that look in your.
just to make you my Thank you. 
All right, boss and Chris, I'm back again, like Eminem, and this is episode 11 of Songbirds and Troubadours. All right, so you guys might be wanting to know more about these guys. I would if I was you. We, uh, th this show is such a treat for us here at, at the house, so, a.k.a. the ETX Rock set. I guess I forgot to mention that this show is presented by the ETX Rock Show. That's good information to have. Um, but both of these guys are from the Tyler area, and uh, since we started with Ian earlier, we'll start with him as, uh, this time as well. So, Ian, where can folks follow along with you on social media and stuff like that? Uh, you can find me at Ian Power Music, I-A-N-P-O-W-E-R Music on Instagram and Facebook. Um, yeah. And new music on the horizon within a month or two? Yeah, we're, uh, we're working on an album right now, and it's... it's Pretty much done. So it'll be out on pretty much all platforms. It'll be, be physical copies available on Spotify, iTunes, SoundCloud, uh, all, all the good stuff. Cool. Will there be physical copies available as well at your shows? Oh, yeah. All right. Definitely. Awesome. And that'll be available everywhere but Evan, Evansville, Indiana. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he Please wants nothing to do with that place. Oh, Lord. And I can't blame you. At all. Oh, it's so good. It's such a good town. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Douglas, same question, man. Where's your social media at? Uh, you can find me uh, on face. It's facebook.com slash Douglas J. Boyd. Just make sure you spell everything out. D-O-U-G-L-A-S-J-A-Y-B-O-Y-D. Um, as far as uh, Instagram and Snapchat, which I'm never on, and Twitter and all that stuff, it's just at Douglas J. Boyd. Okay. Um, easy breezy. And as I mentioned in the intro, one of the biggest supporters of live local music in the Tyler area, and really good uh, advice in, in the uh, intermission. I know you wanted to go much more into depth with that, but I think uh, from my perspective, I think that goes both ways. I think the Tyler musicians need to get out, and I think the musicians from outside of Tyler need to get in a little bit more. I think we just need a, and this is East Texas wide, really, I think mm -hmm. we need a, a better blend of in-towners and out-of-towners, and I think even the music fan around here will really benefit from that as well. I think so too. I think there are a lot of people that if they uh, that are stuck listening to a particular genre or a style that don't realize that they can enjoy things from other uh, from other genres, maybe mm -hmm. step outside the comfort zone and they can still enjoy it. I completely agree. Uh, just because we're in Texas doesn't mean there aren't other genres other than country here. They all exist, I promise you. Um, our show is a good testament to that. We don't always have country music and we're really proud of that fact. Um, two amazing songwriters here tonight. Neither one of these guys could ever be described as country, thank God. Um, and again, it's at Ian Power Music on Facebook. It's at Douglas J. Boyd on Facebook. Um, would you guys send venues to those areas as well to, to book you guys for events? Yeah. Um, just yeah um, reach I, out on Facebook? Yeah, Facebook or email. And it's just actually DouglasJBoyd at gmail.com. Okay, and Ian? Yep, uh, my email is ianpower26 at gmail.com. Okay, awesome. So you venues out there that might be tuning in, that's how you get in contact with these guys. And hopefully we'll, we'll be doing more with these guys as well in the future. They're from our backyard here, and hopefully we can do some shows together in the future. Yes. So once again, you guys have been tuned into episode number 11 of Songbirds and Troubadours, a brand new project where we focus entirely on the songwriter. Again, one of the most unheralded arms of the music industry, I think anyway, in my humble opinion. And we are huge fans of the songwriter. Again, this is presented by ETX Rocks, uh, episode 11. Episode 12 next week, I think, is going to be Reed Barton and Mason Marrick. So you guys tune in for that. Mason is from somewhere out there by Austin, and Reed is from Burleson, I think. So y'all tune in for that. These guys will be on this Wednesday. Uh, more, we put the show out every Wednesday, film every Sunday, a two-day turnaround on post-production. I'm crazy. <laughs> uh, anyway, as we always say on this show, we want to thank everybody out there for always supporting live music of all genres and all styles. And don't ever forget, ETX Rocks! That's right. <laughs> Howdy folks, this is Aaron Watson. This is Bree Bagwell. This is Jake. And this is Walter from Rocky Queen. This is Curtis Grimes from Monty Pittman. This is Doug Supernon. I'm Heather Riddle. And this is Rob Redwine. Ho! Oh, hey folks, I'm WWE Hall of Famer Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Hey guys, I'm Katie Lynn. And make sure to tune in to ETX Rocks with... Boston Chris. Hello y'all, this is Ronnie Millsap and thanks for tuning in to the ETX Rocks show. Tough guy, ho! Hey guys, we're Black Tie Mojo and thank you for tuning in to ETX Rocks. 